Uh, I'm not personally phased by it by myself. It seems to be one of those things where, um, at first, because I've only just moved in this year, you move in and then you, you notice it. And it's obviously only the ones that sort of fly low that you really notice to the point where it sort of shakes it a bit. But after a while, you don't sort of notice it. But I think that's because obviously they're going further up. So obviously, you know, that's a bit mixed, <laughs> bit mixed on it, huh? And it doesn't keep you up at night at all. Uh, no, the only thing that keeps me up is the rugby club lights that are left on at night. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really notice it. I only notice it if I've gone away for a while and then I've come back to London. I don't think they're, they're too bad. I've lived here for 20 years and I don't think the, the noise is really bad at all. Right. They start at 4.30 in the morning. And it goes on all day, most days. Wakes me up, always wakes me up. And it is completely annoying and disruptive. And they want to build another one. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's just annoying. So it keeps you up at night? And it does keep me up at night. It does, it just, then two, I mean, you may have a break during the night, but I suppose by that time I'm sort of like gone asleep. But when they start at 4.30 in the morning, between 4.30, it's the earliest, and 5 a.m., they're just so loud. They're just so loud, they do wake me up.